I'm Paula. I'm Red. This is Blue Collar Bites. Tonight, we are at Soul House, H-A-U-S, which is in Lafayette, Louisiana. Yeah, it's in the Albertsons parking lot on Ambassador Cafe. Right across from St. Edmunds. So we're going to give this place a try. We have seen a few Facebook posts about it, and hopefully it's good comfort food because I had a heck of a day, and I need some soul comfort, some comfort to my soul. Hopefully this this will uh, seal the deal for you today. If not, there's always daiquiris. That's true. I'm good with that. All right, y'all come with us. Let's go check it out. smallest car in the world. It's like a clown car. <laughs> it almost is the smallest car in the world. Pretty small. Not a smart car though. Not a smart car. Just a Honda Fit. Got it. Well, that was Soul House. And I just have to say that Yakamine, Yakame, I don't even know how you say it. Yakamine. That was some good stuff. Yes, it was very good. The broth was good. The meat was tender. A little the only complaint I would have, and it's really not a complaint, it was a lot of noodles, more noodles than than I would hope yeah. for, but it was very good. It was. So, if you don't know what that is, because, you know, I didn't know what that was, it's a beef broth, and it looked like some tender round steak that had cooked in the broth for a long time. They said there's Asian spice in there, and there then is. they put, there's onions, bell pepper, garlic, yeah. I think it was bell pepper. Yeah. You got bell pepper? Yeah. Okay. Celery. And green onions, and then they put spaghetti noodles in it. Yeah, I don't think it was lo mein noodles. Well, there's supposed to be some Asian spice, but I didn't really taste any Asian spice to it. I did. But it was good. If you're a fan of round steak gravy, like me, if you grew up eating round steak and you always had a bread and gravy after you ate your meat, then you will like Yakamane. It was good. We also got a, what's Soul it called? Soulfire platter. Soul fire platter so that was four fried shrimp one big f piece of catfish fillet two sides and some fries and i chose coleslaw and Mac macaroni and cheese, and, cheese. <laughs> and it came with a cornbread muffin cornbread was good cornbread was good macaroni and cheese was okay it was made there not from a box the coleslaw mm, pass fries crinkles so that's always good and they're little uh Kane's sauce, I guess it's a soul fire sauce, is very, very good. What it puts Kane's to shame. Oh, yeah, it was really good. Even their tartar sauce was homemade and tasted really good, too. He got three chicken tenders. I didn't even have any of that. Yeah, I got three tenders just to taste them and see how they were. They were very tender, very moist, and, and they tasted they tasted good. They're kind of small, but they were good. But y'all, this place it's a Friday night. Now, there is a parade in town. But this place was popping. It's packed. It still is. But they also had ball crawfish tonight. So maybe that's why they yeah. had so many more people. I didn't see anybody getting ball crawfish though. Everybody was just getting food. Yeah, next time I come, I think I'm going to get the, uh, I think I'm gonna get the shrimp. The ball shrimp's only $12 a pound. Yeah. That's a pretty dang good price. Yes, it is. Well, I will definitely be coming back here. I will go through the drive through which they have one, a drive through Get that Yakamane, go home, eat it on my couch in pajamas. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. So until next time, we'll see you on Blue Collar Bites. <laughs>